Okay, so at the bus station, just bought my tickets to Pristina, Kosovo. Uh, I'm only going to be there two days, so I basically got this afternoon and all day tomorrow to do a few things. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned last time that a change to my flight meant I had to lose a day in one place, and then I've gained an extra day somewhere else, which I think has turned out to the best, in a way. It's the place that I'll be going to, I'm very curious about. So anyway, I've got about an hour and a half till I get on. Number 46, Kosovo. So right here we've got the capital of Pristina of Kosovo. So they've had a lot of rough history in the past few decades, actually. Uh, it's a lot more built up than, than Skopje, than some of the other places I've been. I'm only going to be here tomorrow, so I'll probably go for a quick wander just to get some money, have a quick look around. And then um, tomorrow we'll do the proper, proper, proper stuff. That seems strange to me. I'm sure there's a reason why they got Clinton's face on a wall. Oh, if I had to take a guess, he was instrumental in them becoming a country, probably. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Why do I have an obsession with hot sauces that I've never seen before? Oh, I'm resisting. Alright, so I'm going to go for a bit of a wander around the city. I didn't really plan out a lot here. I've been feeling a bit tired after the past few days. It's just been very flat out, especially with that hiking I did. So, Kosovo's Pristina was always going to be a bit of a, just a bit of a chill, relaxed time. Um, I do want to see if I can find out a bit about Kosovo itself, mainly the history that's happened in the last sort of 20 years or so. Um, so we'll go for a wander, we'll see what we can find. It's got the Mother Teresa Cathedral. So she's actually a really big figure in this region, considering this is where she was, she born, was born and grew up in the region, mainly um, Scotland. Uh, I'd best go and have a little look inside. I might be wrong, but that looks new. Looks like the roof has been rebuilt. It's a beautiful, elegant design church. I would have to say, just something about this city. There seems to be a lot more to it than it seems. This place is completely empty. It's also not quite what I was looking for. That is made entirely out of staples. Now Kosovo is probably one of the 
newer countries that I've been to. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I know that they've recently had, relatively recently, in the last 20 or 30 years, I think, there's been a significant amount of wars around here. And I know very little about it. So hopefully, this top floor of this museum will give me a bit of a lesson. Um, I know that the Bosnian War was around, I don't know how much like, the former part of Yugoslavia would have participated in that, but I am curious. So we'll see what, what I can learn and share from here. So this looks like the Kosovo version of the Declaration of Independence. I'm guessing these are all of the countries that have recognised it. And look at that. There's my one. Wow. Oh. There's really not that much here. There's no information. There's plenty of artifacts, but nothing else to really show or see. It's a little bit disappointing to be honest because the history of Kosovo is one thing that I did actually want to sort of learn about because I know very little about the war basically that they, go th that they went through. Oh well, maybe that'll be my at home project when I get back. Honestly, that had nothing, it had very very little. So there was some random um, gallery upstairs, just a temporary one. Didn't really show me anything, so it was a bit disappointing. Um, gonna head down that way now, because I believe that there is quite a large moss that I saw in the distance from the hotel. Very small mosque. <sighs> so last night went to try to go to sleep around midnight. The guy below me arrived at one and he was the loudest snorer I've ever seen in my life. I did not get to sleep until about 5.30 a.m. and that was the mainly because of a miracle that I found some earbuds in my pack that I completely forgotten that I had. So I feel pretty buggered and I've only been going around for about three hours now. The frustrating thing is I've only got a few, a few days here. Oh. Yeah, so I've only got about two days here so Probably just going to be doing a bit of editing when I get back and sort of a, try and experience a bit more of Kosovo tomorrow, even though I've got a bus leaving later that night. There's one thing that's been great about this area, it's definitely been the food. Really enjoyed the food. We've got Havan Grill House. I'm not too sure what it is mostly, but it tastes good. Oh, now Kosovo was always going to be a bit of a sort of a laid back quiet one. I needed a place to sort of chill out considering how busy I'm going to be the next few days or next week. Um, there was a place in Kosovo I wanted to go called Pei, 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 Pei. Um, it looked like a beautiful hiking location. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get there because of the time, but it just goes to show that everywhere there is to go, there's always places to see. I'm just not getting the opportunity in Kosovo this time. Um, so I'm going to be going to the bus station, buying a ticket, and then I'll be off to my next location later tonight, uh, Podgorica, Montenegro.